and welcome. My name is Katie. I'm an educator here at the Museum of Science and History, and you are joining me in our Florida Naturalist Center, home to many rescued native Florida animals, like Maggie here. Maggie is a rescued opossum. We received her when she was three months old, and she's lived here in the museum for about two years now. We have about 45 animals currently in the Naturalist Center, and I have another friend to bring out for you if you're interested. Fantastic, we would love to see a new friend. Today, we're gonna to be exploring reptiles, and we are here with my friend Robin, a naturalist at the Florida Naturalist Center. And who do we have here? This is Arthur, our Florida king snake. Now Robin, what is a reptile? A reptile is typically classified by an animal with scales and an animal that is an ectotherm or a cold-blooded, which is just a cool way of saying that their body temperature is the same as the temperature around them. So it's about 78 degrees in this room. That means Arthur's temperature is about 78 degrees. Is Arthur native to Florida? Yes, he is. He can be found in the Florida upland habitats, in pine forests, and sometimes he can be found in the intercoastal regions as well. Oh, awesome. What do we do if we see a snake in the wild? If you are on a little nature walk and you see one crossing your path, just stay where you are, let it go its way, and then you can move on. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Robin. Thank you, Arthur. Now it's time to make our very own snake. For this activity, you only need a couple of things that you can find at your house. The first being a paper plate, markers or watercolor or crayons, anything you like to decorate. I have some googly eyes here, a pair of scissors, and some string. Let's get started. First step, is to decorate your snake. You can choose any color you like. I'm gonna use some green watercolors. And I'm gonna start with decorating my paper plate. That is beautiful. Now that I've finished painting my beautiful snake, it's time to cut it out. You might need some parents' help with this part. You're gonna wanna start on one edge and begin to spiral into the center. I'm turning my paper plate to help me get that spin effect. As I get closer to the middle, I wanna leave enough room for my snake head, just like that. Now that I have the body cut out, I think I'm gonna add some googly eyes. Now I have a spiral snake. And you can hang them and watch them slither around and move. Here's another finished example. For this example, I added some string. You can put them in the window or outside and watch the snake spiral around. We would love to see all your awesome snakes by tagging us at at Mosh Jacks on social media. This activity has been brought to you by the Museum of Science and History, empowered by PNC Bank. Thanks for joining us and we will see you next time.